गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास दिस इज योर सी जी एम थियोरी क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव कम्प्लीट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज ओके एंड द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज वन इज रास्टर ग्राफिक्स एंड अनदर वन इज वैक्टर ग्राफिक्स दिस मच ओनली वी कम्प्लीट दिस सो टूडे आई डिस्कस अबाउट द डिजिटल इमेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके सो लेट अस डिस्कस इन डिटेल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन डिजिटल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इमेज ओके ए डिजिटल इमेज इज द कंपोजिशन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल पिक्सल और पिक्चर एलिमेंट्स ओके ऑल ऑफ यू नो दिस the pixel are arranged in the form of row and column to a form of a picture area that means all digital image is the composition of individual pixel or picture elements individual picture elements and the picture element or pixels are arranged in the form of a row and column format okay uh, to form a picture picture area the number of pixel in an image is a function of the size of the image and number of pixel per unit length in horizontal as well as vertical direction that means the number of pixel of the image is a size of the image and number of pixel per unit is the length in horizontal as well as vertical direction okay that means horizontally the number of how many number of pixel lies there this is your length that means we can um, measure in, in it in as inch okay and also the number of uh, pixels are in a vertical direction how many number of pixels are there okay that is your length okay a picture that we see is actually comprised a tiny squares of color this one in the image also all of you saw this small small squares are there okay these squares represent one pixel that means how many number of um, squares are there that much number of pixels are that means in one row here there are six pixels are there that means there are six squares are there that means there are in a row in horizontally it is see six pixels are there that means six inch length is six inch okay the pixel holds just one color of information and each pixel holds one color not only mix of two color okay <coughs> an image is broken down into smaller single piece of information or single color this one color represented as a number and this one color of pixel or one color of um, squares represent a number and image is broken down into pixel okay each pixel holds the information about its color and also pixels role is to represent a single color that means pixels responsibility or pixel plays a role to represent a single color combine this pixel together to paint the picture using a grid if we combine these pixels and uh, paint this picture using a grid okay next concept is our image processing it is a method to implement some operations on an image it is also used to get an enhanced image or to access some useful information from an image it is a type of processing in which the input is an image and output may be the image or characteristics features correlated with that image okay that means the method which implement some operations of image is known as image processing and here it is also used to get the enhanced image to access some useful information 
from the image and it is a type of processing which the input uh, of the image and the output of the image or characteristics of image all these things are correlated okay for example photoshop frames of video these are the example of image processing most image processing techniques consider the image as a 2d or two dimensional and applying standard signal processing technique on it that means the image processing techniques consider the image as a two dimensional and applying on this two dimensional as a single processing technique okay pixel pixel is the smallest unit of a picture displayed on the computer screen and pixel includes its own intensity name or address that means pixel what is if the question comes in your exam define pixel then what you write pixel is the smallest unit of a picture displayed on a computer screen a pixel includes its own intensity name or address okay the size of the image is defined as the total number of pixel in the horizontal direction times the total number of pixel in vertical direction that means in horizontal direction how many number of pixel and in vertical direction how many number of pixel this is the image size defined that means for example 512 into 512 that means in horizontal side 512 pixels are there in vertical side also 500 pixels are there if the resolution or image size is your 640 into 480 then also it will one one number is your horizontal side another number is your vertical side okay in this way we define the image or resolution of the image the ratio of an image width to its height we can measure it in unit length or number of pixel is known as aspect ratio of image what is the aspect ratio means the ratio of an image width to its height we can measure it in unit length or number of pixel is known as aspect ratio of the image here one example is there uh, here 2 into 2 inch image and a 512 image have aspect ratio of 1 is to 1 whereas 6 into 4 inch image have a 1024 into 7668 image have aspect ratio of 4 is to 3 so in this way we define the aspect ratio okay that means here we count the number of pixel in horizontal x axis and number of pixel in y axis okay the resolution means it is the number of separated pixel display on a screen expressed in terms of pixel on horizontal axis and vertical axis so here resolution means the number of pixel which is expressed or which is display on a screen on the horizontal axis and the vertical axis okay the sharpness of the picture on display depends on the resolution and the size of the monitor that means here the sharpness of the picture means it will depend on the resolution and size of the monitor the number of pixel per unit is called resolution of the image that means per unit how many number of pixels are there it is the measure as the resolution of the image it will it also includes image resolution and screen resolution image resolution means the distance between two pixel and screen resolution means the number of horizontal and vertical pixel display on the screen is called screen resolution that means number of horizontal and vertical pixel display on a screen 
is called screen resolution and image resolution means distance between two pixels is known as image resolution. Here one example is a 640 into 480 that means 640 means it, it is your horizontal line that means it is your x axis and 480 is your y axis that means this one is your vertical and this one is your horizontal axis that means 640 is your horizontal pixels, pixel and 480 is your vertical pixel okay in this way we can measure the screen resolution or image resolution this one is your 640 this one is your 480 so that means 640 and 480 so in this way the screen is your rectangular shape size aspect ratio the ratio of image width to its height is known as the aspect ratio of an image that means width to its height the width and height of an image is measured in length or number of pixel that means how many number of pixel and how is or how many the length is the height and width of an image is known as aspect ratio of the image okay for example if a graphics has an aspect ratio of 2 is to 1 it means the width is twice larger to height okay that means the width is 2 and height is 1 okay that means if the height is 5 then width is your 10 okay twice larger than the height okay it includes frame aspect ratio and pixel aspect ratio what is frame aspect ratio frame aspect ratio means it is horizontal and vertical size this pixel aspect ratio means width of the pixel or height of the pixel okay so this one is your what is aspect ratio what is pixel what is resolution all these things in details okay next one is our um, application of image processing image processing is used in computerized photography space image processing uh, for example Hubble space telescope image interplanetary probe image all these things okay and also used in medical or biological image processing and automatic character recognition and fingerprint face iris recognition remote sensing industrial application or in here the image processing concept is used so this is your digital representation of image how image is represented in digital okay so that's all in this class thank you